Have you heard the saying that charts have memories? Well, perhaps charts have very, very long-term memories. So, let's put it to the test and see if it's time to buy or sell. To put this theory to test, we are looking at a chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Index that goes back to 1910. As you can see from this chart, the Dow has spent the majority of the past 77 years inside of a rising channel, which is indicated by the blue line numbered 1 with the top and bottom channels in a rising pattern. While inside of this channel, the price has created two very long-term megaphone patterns one beginning in the early 1960s and the other beginning in the early 1990s. The first megaphone pattern, the price broke above the pattern and then tested the top of the pattern in the mid-1980s, which is shown as the green number two. That top test became the new support, and the market went on a multi-year rally of about 18 years into the second megaphone pattern. The second megaphone pattern lasted several years also, but was broken through in about 2016, which is shown as a green number three. The top line of the second megaphone became the support level with the test, and the market again went on a multi-year rally to where we are today. The rally off of support point number three has the Dow currently testing the top of that 77-year channel, which is created by connecting the market tops of 1929 and 2000 as indicated in the yellow. With the trend being strongly higher, will the Dow breakout continue and forget that it is testing the top of this long-term channel indicated by the green number 4? Or will the Dow remember that the top of this channel is in play and take an important breather or worse, a crash, or are we going to begin another megaphone pattern? Well, let's take a look at our charts. And now we're looking at the 20-year monthly chart on the Spiders Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF, and the symbol is DIA. It's not exactly the Dow Jones, but it's a pretty good proxy. And as we can see here, we're at a new all-time high, 281.36 was the close on Tuesday. Now, looking here at the MAC, this is where the important information is. Again, back in that uh, time frame, 2015-2016, is when it broke above that megaphone pattern and started on the multi-year rally to where we are today. But looking at this chart here, the MAC, I think we're about to begin on another multi-year rally. Now, we are heading into lots of doubt. There's lots of information in the market that indicates that the economy is not doing well. But the charts are not the economy. The market is not the economy. So we pay attention to the charts. And the charts tell me that the fast line is basing here and the fast line is just barely pushing through the slow line here currently. In my humble opinion, we are going to move through and accelerate. Now, it's not going to be a straight line up, as usual, but I think that the power is continuing. We're at a level of above 10, so that means there's a lot of strength in the market, and that fast line is coming through, and it wants to continue on. You can see that here in the histogram. Nice move up. Looking at the price rate of change, we've definitely bottomed here. Fast line has moved above. It trundled sideways for a while. Just popped through on the downside just barely, but we're heading back up. To me, that's a nice basing pattern. You can see the same thing here in the relative strength index. We're at 68.80. Looks like we want to head higher. And that's what the stochastics have done. Nice basing, bottoming pattern, heading on up. Volume looks fine. And then the last oscillator, the Williams, it's already in that overbought territory. That tells me 
that there's a lot of strength in the market. And all it has to do is continue some sawtoothing here in this overbought territory that it's done in the past. Certainly back there, 2016 through into 2018. That's the time frame I'm looking at as the most similar pattern for the current formation. Back here to the price chart, you can see that from 2016, we went up and away. I think we're doing that again. We were basing and we're going to go up and away again. It's not going to be a straight line. There are going to be perhaps some corrections. Remember, we've had a number of corrections here, particularly in late 2018, also early 2018. So have those expectations. But in my humble opinion, we're going to continue upward. And so for today, that's Chew Dog Charts. Thank you.